Hello and welcome to the bakingmad.com kitchen where I'm going to show you how to make the perfect Victoria sponge cake. Now, everybody loves this classic cake and if you get this recipe right it's actually the basis for many many other cakes. You can use this recipe for uh, fairy cakes, for lemon drizzle cake, coffee cake, chocolate cake. So it's a great cake to master and it's actually very very simple. For a sponge um, cake you need to have two seven inch round baking tins and even if they're non-stick I still like to butter them thickly and also dust them with flour and I also like to line the tin with a circle of uh, non-stick baking parchment then you can be sure that it'll come out really easily. A classic sponge cake uses equal quantities of butter, sugar, self-raising flour and eggs and each egg weighs a, a medium sized egg weighs uh, 50 grams so I've got 200 grams of butter, 200 grams of silver spoon caster sugar, 200 grams of self raising flour and four eggs which should also weigh 200 grams. I'm also going to add a teaspoonful of vanilla and a drop of milk if necessary. Now the other secret of success is to make sure that your ingredients are at room temperature. You want your butter to be nice and soft, really nice and soft. If you take it straight out of the fridge, then it's a good idea to cut it into little pieces and let it soften at room temperature for a bit or pop it in the microwave, but don't melt it so that it's runny. You want it just to be really spreadable because that way it will cream beautifully and really easily with the sugar. So just add the sugar to your butter and you can either use a wooden spoon or I'm just going to use an electric mixer so I won't talk while this is mixing but the idea is to cream this until it's really really smooth and light and fluffy. Don't rush this stage, the longer you take to whisk the butter and sugar until it's really light and creamy the better texture your uh, cake will be because you've got to incorporate lots of air and you shouldn't feel any granules of sugar it should be really really creamy. Now I'm going to break four eggs and whisk them gently and again they should be at room temperature because if you add freezing cold eggs straight from the fridge into your butter it will just make the butter hard and you're more likely to get the mixture curdled. Make sure you beat your eggs really well and then you're just going to add them gradually, a little bit at a time, to your creamed mixture. Right, that's really light and creamy and fluffy. Please take your time to do this because the more you cream it, the longer you take to do it, the lighter your sponge will be. Now I'm going to add just a teaspoonful of um, vanilla essence to give it a really nice flavour. If you want to make a coffee cake, you can add a teaspoonful of strong coffee. If you want to make a lemon cake, add grated lemon rind or orange rind. And if you want to make a chocolate cake, take out a tablespoonful of the flour and add a tablespoonful of cocoa instead. So it's a really versatile recipe. So then I'm just going to fold the flour into the butter and sugar egg mixture using a sort of figure of eight motion. So what you're trying to do is fold the mixture over to keep all of the air in the mixture. Now for the perfect sponge you might want to weigh the sponge tins and the mixture to make sure you've got equal quantity in each. But that's only if you're wanting to win a competition really. I don't usually bother. Just gently smooth it out till it reaches the sides of the tin. No need to um, get it perfectly smooth because the, it will all melt in the oven and find its own level. So there's no need to worry about it. And then that just goes in the oven. Uh, 180C, that's 160 fan gas four for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's risen up golden and the perfect sponge cake. Okay, so when the cake is cooked, it should just feel firm in the centre and you'll also notice that it's shrunk away from the sides of the tin. So just let it cool for about five minutes in the cake tin, then cool it on a wire rack 
and when it's completely cold you can sandwich it together with lots of strawberry jam or raspberry jam whichever you prefer um, of course you can fill it with whipped cream if you want